Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about holiday releases anymore, but I don't know. I wanted to talk about some of the most tempting holiday sets that are out there. Christmas is a time of gimmicks and them trying to get you to buy all these gifts and trying to make you buy all the makeup, but it's also a time where they come out with gift sets. And sometimes these gift sets have a bunch of minis that are a part of the normal line. And for someone like me who loves to try new things, it can be a really great way to get a good idea of a brand releases and like products, what you think about them if you'd get on with them at a more affordable price than buying the full sizes. And sometimes they just don't have these type of sets throughout the year. So that's kind of what I focus on when it comes to like mini gift sets and stuff at holiday. What I feel like is actually going to be somewhat worth it for me. I feel like they're a really great way to potentially satiate my need for exploratory makeup, like trying new things, but at an affordable price. And again, with something that's a little less wasteful full than a full size product. But anyway, let me get into some of the makeup kits that are the most tempting to me and why. I think it'd be kind of fun. I want to talk about makeup in a fun way, you know, uh, and we'll see. I might buy some of these. I might not. It kind of depends on what goes on in the future. I have my eye on a lot of things all the time and I just try to hold off as long as possible <laughs> to not buy until the right time if that time ever comes. All right, the first one on my list is from Milk Makeup and this is the MVP set. It retails for 39 so so price I feel like is already pretty reasonable, especially for all the things that you get. So in it, you get a deluxe size of the Kush Mascara, and I really wanna try this mascara. I have not, but I do feel like from all my research that it would be something that I would probably like in a mascara. So I just wanna try it out. There's the Mini Hydro Grip Primer. I actually have a mini of this already, so that one wouldn't be something super new to me, but I feel like everything else kind of evens itself out. There's a Mini Cooling Water, which I've always wanted to try, a mini of the Watermelon Brightening Serum. I'm kind of interested. There's a mini of the highlighter in Blitzed, which I'm super into cream highlights. I would love to try that out. There is a mini bronzer in Baked, which one of you guys let me know in my last video that I talked about the Baked uh, bronzer, that the mini is actually a different color. So I'd love to test that out first off because I do have the full size of that stick. But also I know there's going to be a point where I'm going to have to get rid of my <laughs> bronzing stick. I've had it a really long time. It's actually cracked all the way down like the plastic. It's pretty much cracked almost to the base. It's getting old. I know it will get to its point probably pretty soon. Some people have asked me if this bronzer has a scent and I wouldn't say it has a scent as in like it's scented, but it does smell kind of like Play-Doh. Potentially, it almost smells like it's off, but it's always smelled that way for me. I just think that's the way this product smells. So keep that in mind, but I definitely know that it's getting a little old and I wouldn't mind having something to kind of replace it once it's done, but also I do kind of want to test out if they're different. And then last, another thing I really want to try is the glow oil lip and cheek and glimmer I've wanted to try these out I think they're so cute milk is so tempting to me in general because of how the aesthetics are I just I love a lot of the stuff from the brand and now that I'm more into a glossy look a cream look like not as much powder not as much full coverage I feel like their brand is even more tempting and intriguing to me so that little set uh, for the price and how much product you would be getting to be able to try and kind of know if you liked it or didn't I think would be worth it and definitely tempting me. All right, next is a perfume set. And if you guys watched my past Sephora videos, you know perfume sets like get me, <laughs> or at least they used to. I used to really be into them. Um, but something I really wanna do going into 2020, I wanna try a couple new perfumes. And one of them is actually from Atelier. The one I really love is the uh, Pacific Lime. So I have some notes here and the top notes it says are lime, coconut, and eucalyptus. So like, if you know me, you know that sounds exactly like, hi. Lauren. I've like sprayed it on myself and I just, I love the scent so much. So I was already kind of tempted to get a roller ball of that scent, but I would love to try out some other scents from them. I've been highly impressed. So when I was looking at this set, which this is the perfume wardrobe, it retails for $50 and it's normally like it would be about $135 or at least that's the value of it. It comes with seven different perfumes to test out and one of those is Pacific Lime. So I already know I would get that one and I already know I like it. But when I was looking through the notes, I was actually surprised that all of these seem like things I would be interested in trying. I like something that's a little bit more fresh, I like things that are a little bit more fruity, maybe a little bit more unisex, but I'm not really into too many like musky, amber, 
kind of like sensual, like black opium or orchid or whatever those ones are, you know, like the Tom Ford ones that everyone loves, like those are not me. Those are definitely not my scent profiles, but I was surprised when reading some of the notes of the perfumes in this one that they did seem like me. Like I was like, oh, I thought for sure there'd be some of those guys in there and it'd be like half and half. And so it probably wouldn't be worth the money for me, but everything seems like something I definitely want to try. So there's Pomelo Paradis. I think maybe that's how you say it. This is also a fresh scent and the notes are pomelo, mandarin, and vetiver. That is so hard for me to say. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting myself through uh, pronunciation mishaps. I was in block linguistics, so keep that in mind, y'all. I know, I was in block linguistics in high school. Okay, anyway, orange sanguine, maybe? Uh, it's also a fresh scent. It has geranium, orange, and blood orange in it. There's like a vanilla one, which is one of their classic scents. There's clementine California, which is also a fresh scent. It has vetiver, clementine, and star anise. There's this cedar atlas one, which this is the one I thought, oh, I won't like it. It says that it's an earthy and wood one, but it says lemon, cedar wood, and papyrus which that sounds good to me. I feel like it's woodsy, which I don't mind woodsy. I kind of like that like unisex scent and woodsy can be that. But uh, with that lemon, it seems like it'd still be kind of fresh. So I'm definitely still interested. And then this musk imperial one, that was the one I thought I wouldn't like, but they also described this as fresh. And the actual musk scent is a white musk. It has some um, sage in it and bergamot. I'm like, yeah, that sounds amazing. They describe it as like a fresh aquatic scent, which I'm totally into those. So that whole set seems like something I'd really like. I know I went into some detail on this one, but I, I mean, that's the reason it's tempting is because I actually like looked into it. I looked into the set. I actually did some research on what the scents were. Uh, and so seeing that I'm like for $50, oh my gosh, I just realized the price of the set does not value at $135. What I was trying to tell you guys is that their perfumes for like a normal size bottle are $135 normally. And that's what I feel like for the price of $50 and for all of these potential scents I think I would like, I do think that would be a good deal. And it's Definitely tempting. All right, next I have a set from Kaja on here. Kaja is a brand I will try next year. I will freaking try it. Don't get it twisted, I'm gonna do it. I have wanted to try Kaja stuff for so long and I just never bite the bullet. It's not insanely expensive, but it's also not cheap and there's just something that stops me every time. But this Kaja set, this is the looking like a snack must have set for $39, has some products in it that I do wanna try. The thing that really holds me back and probably would stop me from buying this is that the colors in here aren't necessarily the ones that I would choose. If I were to pick from the entire like shade range of each item, the shade in this set is not what I would personally pick. And so I definitely feel like that's like the thing stopping me because if you're gonna pick out a lip color but it's not the color you're gonna wear most often, that set decreases in value almost immediately. So anyway, let me tell you what's in this set. We have the Cheeky Stamp Blendable Blush in Saucy. These things are so cute, right? With the little heart. <laughs> So cute, I want it so bad. <laughs> There's the Mochi Glow Bouncy Highlighter in Toy Alien. I think that one would actually work for me. That's one of the like true wins in the set for me. There's the Crushy Vibe High Pigment Lip Stain in Chiffon. I do think these would be kind of interesting to try. I'm not like the biggest on the lip products and I really wanna try their like little heart-shaped pens. I did swatch those in Sephora like at the beginning of this year, like in January of 2019. And I really like the shade Honey Bun, so I, I'm more interested in that. But I I do think this kind of like crushy stain thing, like I'm kind of into it. But again, chiffon is probably not the color I would choose. And then there's the Beauty Bento uh, box. So it has one of the like eyeshadow things in the orange blossom, which I think is really beautiful, but I'm not sure once again, if that's the exact one I want. But even when I go through all the colors, it's hard for me to pick the Bento box that I think would work best for me. I'm like, do I go pink or do I go neutral? I don't know. So, I mean, I kind of like the idea that this just picks the Bento box I would get. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think the set's really cute. I do think uh, it's a pretty reasonable price. It makes everything about $10. And again, with things like minis, I don't mind getting minis because I don't need all the product. I really don't need it all. All right, the next set on my list, I actually already, I did get this and I got it actually sent to me. So that was really awesome. But I wanted to put it on here because I know had I not got that sent to me, it would definitely be on this list. I know, I know it would be on this list. And this is the Laneige Kiss Me at Midnight set. It retails for for $28 and in it you get a full size of the berry lip sleeping mask which that alone retails for $20 but then with it you get two little minis of the two limited edition scents which are mint choco and sweet candy and those little minis last a pretty long time I finally used up my little mini I'm so proud of myself which 
If you guys could see the amount of lip balms that I have, I got a lot of lip balms, okay? So for me to go through one, even if it's one of my favorites, which the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask is one of my favorites, it still takes a, a bit of time to do that. So I just think this set for the price is really awesome. I love that you get to try the limited edition scents, but at the same time, you get like a full size of the regular lip mask. So I think all the value is there in so many ways. I think it's a pretty great set if you're wanting to try it or if you're trying to replenish. All right, next, this one's kind of sad and I'm putting it on here for my tempting list because it is, it's just that, it's a tempting product, but I would not buy this and I will let you know the sad news in two seconds. This is the Fenty Bomb Baby 2 set. It retails for $24 and in it you get a mini of the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter in Sandcastle, which looks so beautiful. I've really wanted to try the Fenty highlighters for a long time and again, I love that it's a mini. And then in it you get the Gloss Bomb Universal in the shade Sweet Mouth, which is a newer shade. It's a really light, pretty pink I really wanna try that as well. But the sad news is that I, I'm still like kinda going through my products and I'm trying to figure out what has glitter in it and what doesn't. As I use things and I see that it has like a shimmer, I will try to take the time and look up the ingredients just to make sure there's nothing hiding, right? Well, unfortunately, the gloss bombs, which are one of my favorite lip products, have glitter in them. They have these really small glitters. And I thought for sure that was going to be like a mica or some other type of like shimmery product, but it has specifically, I'll put the word here. This is the word I look for um, in any of the ingredients for specific like plastic glitter. It's the PET one. So anyway, really, really sad. And the thing is, it's like right by your mouth. I'm not like wanting to eat that. I love the set. I think it's so cute, but I won't be purchasing it. I won't be purchasing any of the gloss bombs if they have glitter in them. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for that in the future, but definitely like a sad realization. Okay, next, this one is actually at Ulta. So all the other sets I talked about were at uh, Sephora. I love Sephora. It's probably my favorite, you know, beauty store out of the two, but I did want to check out Ulta because I kind of neglect it sometimes. And I wanted to bring this up because I think this set is really awesome. And I bought something like this a while ago. It's the Becca, the Glow Starts Here set. It's only $15, which I think is very reasonable, uh, especially for Becca prices because they expensive. But in here, there's a mini of the First Light Priming Filter, the Back Light priming filter, which I love the first light priming filter. The purple one is so awesome. The backlight's pretty good as well, but the purple is super great. So if you haven't tried that, you could try that out. But also what's in there is the under eye brightening corrector and it's one of the minis. So I believe the one in here is the one in light medium, not the medium to dark. I wish they had two sets to be able to pick from. Like I don't, it's kind of frustrating when they do that. But if you were wanting to try the corrector and light to medium happens to fit you, the mini is such a great way to try out the product for 50 $15, I feel like you get to try a lot of really staple great products from Becca to see if it's something that you would want to invest the money in for the full size. And again, that's like what I think is so great. Let's say you love the product, you know it, right? Like you've tried enough of it to be like, okay, the 38 or $32 it is for the little under eye corrector might be worth it after you go through that whole little mini, which will last you a long time. You have a pretty good idea at that point if the full size is something for you or not. So this set specifically, I think you don't have to invest a lot of money and you get to try some really great staples and a lot of the products in there are things that I like personally recommend and think are awesome. All right, and the last set on my list is another one in case you guys wanted to try it out and also, I mean, I'm kind of like tempted by it. This is the MAC Stars of Skincare set. It retails for $19.50 and in it you get a mini of the MAC Fix Plus, like Prep and Prime Fix Plus, which is awesome. I love Fix Plus. It's one of my favorite facial like makeup mist. It's so great. It foils really well. It smells like a spa. It smells so good. Really nothing beats the smell of the MAC Fix Plus to me. I love it. And then there's also a strobe cream in there as well, again in a mini size. And that's something I really want to try. I've never tried MAC strobe cream. At least I can't remember ever trying it. So I'd love to try that out. I love that you get a little mini of the MAC Fix Plus so you could like travel with it. It's just not as bulky. Um, and again, if you're someone who wants to just try it out, see if you'd like it. It's quite small, but it definitely gives you an idea and taste if that product would work for you and if it might be worth, you know, the full price money. So anyway, guys, those are the sets that are the most exciting to me. I love mini makeup. I know some people don't like it, but for me, it's such a great way to be able to try some new products, see if I like formulas, test stuff out, actually be able to like get my money's worth out of use of a product, which is awesome. So to me, these little sets are definitely tempting. And I think I'm just going to kind of keep my eye on them. Maybe they'll go on sale after or before the holiday, which would be a great way if I get some gift cards or something to maybe spend my 
my money and get quite a bit of product for a really good price to be able to test out. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to know any of the like makeup sets that are out for holiday that have been tempting you or maybe some you've picked up. How do you like them? Other than that, if you guys like the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.